so um, we're still in chapter four. And so what we're doing now is uh, we're working on the weak topology right now. So we previously defined what was the, what is the weak topology. And uh, we, we did some exercise on it. And so we are, um, we are now moving forward with the, the, the weak topology. And today we are starting with, with the proposition 26, yeah. So we start the lecture of today with this proposition which says that, so a sequence Xn converges weakly toward X in a, in a Banach space E, but for the weak topology, if and only if for every phi in the dual, dual space of E, phi of Xn converges toward phi of X. Uh, so let's do uh, this proof. So first of all, let us assume that Xn converges weakly toward X. And we want to show that for every phi in the dual space, phi of xn converges toward phi of x. So as as um, as remarked by by students, uh, phi if phi is um, is continuous from e with the usual norm into k. It is also continuous from E endowed with the weak topology into K. In fact, the weak topology uh, so it's it's the coarsest it's the coarsest topology uh, that make continuous these functions in the in the dual space so that's right um as an exercise yeah as an exercise i'm doing to to write the proof um a little bit more in detail but uh, that's enough you can just uh you 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 can just say that because we we said that uh, several times that um that the the weak topology is the coarsest topology that make this phi continuous. Okay, so another way to do that. So as an exercise, we write uh, the proof. Uh, differently. So I, I I come back to the definition of um, of what is what is the meaning of phi of x n converges to phi of x. So so let let phi belongs to e prime and. Uh, to prove that phi of xn is converging to phi of x, we choose or let u be an open set containing uh, 
phi of x. So if u is an open set in K, so it's in K. I'm just going to mute everybody because if not, all right. So by construction of the weak topology, phi minus one of u is an open set for the weak topology. And which contains X, right? Okay, since XN converges weekly, we, we write it like that. Oh. So, there exists N in N such that N greater than N implies that xn belongs to pi minus one of u. This is because xn converges weakly toward x. Uh, th that's the definition of a convergence. But therefore, therefore, phi of xn belongs to u. So which means that phi of xn converges to phi of x. So, but uh, everything is the same. Uh, what makes the things work is that phi minus one of u when u is open is an open set. And so, that's that's the same thing to say that the the phi are continuous. So we you write it as you want. Uh, so you, your remark was good, uh, but uh, yeah, I just wanted to uh, emphasize that there there are two topologies in E, the regular topology associated with the norm, usual norm, and the weak topology. All right, so next uh, we have to prove uh, the other way. Okay, so now what we want is the other way around. So conversely, we assume that uh, for every phi in the dual space, So for every phi in the dual space, we assume that phi of xn converges toward phi of x. And we want to prove that xn converges toward x for the weak topology, meaning that so for every open set in the weak topology that contains X, we can find some capital N such that the sequence Xn is in U for N for um, N greater than capital N, okay? So the key point here is to remind what's an open set of the 
weak topology. And so if U is an open set of the weak topology, that means that we can write it as a union of finite intersections of sets that write phi i minus one of vi, where i vi is an open set of k. And x must belong to all, all these things. So uh, by definition of uh, sigma e prime, uh, we can write or better there exists there exists there exists a uh, phi one until phi p and in e prime and v one v p uh, open sets of of k such that so x belongs to the intersection from i equals one to p of phi i minus one phi i and this is included in u okay that's how we constructed the the topology the weak topology because the weak topology is a specific initial topology so uh, so we have that so next uh, we want so now what we know is that for uh, every phi phi of xn converges to toward phi of x so in in particular the, phi, the this is true for the phi, phi i so but for uh for every i in 1 p there exists a capital n i such that n greater than n i implies phi of i x n is in v i because what because phi i of if if I if I look at that, this means that if x is in this set, this means that phi i of x is in vi for every i. And and this comes from the fact that uh, phi i of x n converges to toward phi i of x. Okay, so the last step is to set. N is the max of all the Ni, and therefore N greater than N implies phi I of Xn belongs to Vi for all I. And so this means that xn, so for n greater than n, xn belongs to okay, and this is including so we're done. So the next proposition says that if xn xn converges strongly then it converges weakly so 
uh, a way to prove that is just to write that. So the norm in K of phi of Xn minus phi of X, which is by linearity phi of Xn minus X is less than the norm, the operator norm of phi as a, as, as a, in the dual times norm of xn minus x. So if xn converges to x, you have that phi of xn converges toward phi of x. So there are other ways to prove that. Uh, for example, uh, you can use the fact that you can use the fact that every uh, open set of the weak topology is also an open set of the strong topology, and so you you can you can prove uh, this also like that. And so the next uh, next time we will uh, we will start with the, the the proof of the proposition twenty eight, which says that if so we just proved that if Xn converges strongly to X, it converges weakly. And so somebody asked about the, the other way around. So if Xn converges weakly, then we don't have usually uh, that Xn converges for the usual norm, but it is bounded. And furthermore, you have this estimate that the norm of X is less than the limit nth. So this is a nice uh, result to prove. Uh, we're going to do that uh, next time. And uh, finally, we will also uh, uh, some, some exercise and we will show that when E is finite of finite dimension, then the weak topology and the usual topology are the same. And depending on the time, uh, we will do some exercise related with uh, with the with the the weak topology, and uh, and that will that will be that for the weak topology. And the next section is the weak star topology, but we definitely won't have time to do that next time. All right, so see you, see you soon.